Doesn't make any sense in my brain why he's struggling at the difference of now kenneling at all, but it is something that as trainers we need to evaluate. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and I am back for another video with Trip. He's been working a ton on his basic obedience. Um, he has been following along with our Retriever Flusher training online course available at standingstonesupply.com. And today we're gonna be adding some new challenges. This guy's fired up and ready to go. Can barely contain the little booger. Um, we're gonna be working on place training outside and depending on how he does with this, we'll be able to add a new challenge to that by utilizing multiple place boards. Follow along, let's go ahead and get started with him. All right, bud. So, to begin, we're gonna work on a single place board. Good, kennel, nice, good boy. You can see he's a very explosive, jittery type of personality that can be a little bit typical of cockers. He's really starting to come into his own with drive and desire but we're lacking a smidgen of focus so far. Kennel. This is totally normal. This is really one of his first big sessions he's gonna be doing outside. So I expect a little bit of distractions and we're gonna try and work through it. Okay, come on, good boy, good boy. Trip, kennel, kennel, good. We're gonna add difficulty by increasing distances. This is all stuff that he's done inside. Okay. Good. Hey, hey, hey. Trip. Kennel. Using a little bit of body language, I took one baby step and kind of turned my body this direction. Good, okay, okay, come on. Trip, kennel. That's perfect, he had to turn his body all the way around. That's showing that we've got a lot of focus and a really good understanding. Good boy, okay. Trip, kennel. Nice job, nice job. Now let's go ahead, okay. Let's go ahead and add a second platform in here. These are the Cato boards. We sell them at standingstonesupply.com and they make a really cool um, stackable little platform here to be able to do training like this. We're not necessarily working on place training. We're just gonna give him something else to do that's kind of fun. Add to, add to your daily routine here. Kennel, kennel, trip. Trip, itch. Good, kennel. Hey, 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 kennel. Kennel, good. Good boy. Kennel, good. Good, kennel, all the way on. Good boy, kennel. Lots of distractions, this is totally normal. You're probably experiencing several things, like why does my dog do this perfectly inside and I take them outside into our yard and they basically don't listen at all. He's doing better than not listening at all, but he's definitely got a lot more distractions with things to sniff and check out. It's okay for him to do some of that, but then we need to pull focus back. Kennel, kennel, okay, kennel. Hey, good, trip, kennel, and a butterfly. Good, kennel, good boy, good boy. Hey, kennel, good boy. Trip, kennel, good. This is a new task, let's go back and forth between boards. Something so simple should be pretty easy, but anything new, be prepared to work through it. Good, come on, kennel, good job. Good, hey, kennel, good boy. He's not doing as good a job at staying on the boards, kennel, but he started to figure out what we're doing. We can fine tune this as we go. Trip, kennel, come on. There you go, that's better. Trip, kennel, good. I held my click to make sure he was gonna stay all the way on there. That's what I want him to be doing. Hey, 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 hey. Kennel, kennel, 
Come on, come on, come on. Good. Good boy. Trip. Kennel. Hey, 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 hey. Kennel. Good. There's another example. Pulling his focus. Hey, hey, hey. He started to get distracted on something else on the ground. Kennel. Come on. Good. You can see he's definitely got an understanding of the easy part. Kennel. No. Kennel. No. No. Kennel. Here. Kennel. Come on, come on, come on. Kennel. Come on. Kennel. Let's move over this one here. Kennel. No. Trip. Trip. Kennel. You all right? Kennel. Kennel. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Kennel. This is interesting. This is a big day. Let's take just a quick second. Let him settle his brain. Give him some love. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Trip. Kennel. All the way on. No. Kennel. Right here. Kennel. Right here. Kennel. Good. There you go. Crunch it up. Good. Trip. Trip. Kennel. Kennel. Hey. Hey. Kennel. Kennel. All right, let's go ahead and take a step back here, guys. This is something that we need to evaluate all the way around. It doesn't make any sense in my brain why he's struggling at the difference of now kenneling at all, but it is something that as trainers we need to evaluate. This is a big step for him to come outside. Lots of things going on, lots of distractions, and it's definitely pulling his focus. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Good. Trip. Kennel. Trip. Kennel. Trip, 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 trip. Running over to check something else out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Kennel. Hey, hey, hey. Kennel. Come on. Kennel. Let's do this here. Let's do this here. Here. Good. Good. Trip. Trip, 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 trip. Good. Here. Hey, here. Good boy. All right, folks. So as we work through this, there's a couple big things to look at. First and foremost, I said, this is his first real session outside and we can see why that's a huge step from inside to outside. If you watch all of his inside sessions, 100% focus, laser focus, in fact, to be able to do the task. He started off really well, and ultimately what it comes to in this session is I just ask too much of him. He started to get more and more distracted by different things, so we will take this next time, and I'm gonna actually show you his very next session outside. It'll be right around his meal time so that you can see the progression. Here, he did okay with place training in the yard, but got very distracted. Next session, I know that he will do better. We will build off of this and allow him to do better to the point where we can cast into multiple platforms and things of that nature. But evaluate your sessions as you go. This is ultimately what's gonna help you to be a better dog trainer and help your dog to grow. These are normal things that happen. If you're struggling at home, don't hesitate to reach out to us, patreon.com slash standingstonekennels. We're set up there to view, evaluate your custom training sessions, your individual training sessions, and help you to make decisions on should you end the session? Should you change things? How can we improve? And we're gonna show you what we do next with Trip to help him to be more focused in this distraction environment. And all it's really gonna take is exposure, but I want you to see that progression. We'll see you in the next video.